What's going on, YouTube? First and foremost, doing a little something different tonight. Anyway, y'all go ahead. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video and share it with a friend. And y'all stay tuned because you know we're going to drop more videos. And they're coming soon. So, tonight, I said to myself, I'm going to go to the store, buy some lottery tickets. Because I got money. But I want more money. And this is a quick way to get more money. As you see at the top, went up. I can went up to a million dollars on this ticket right here. And then you also see over there beside that, scratch here, extra chances. So I like these right here because this one, you can like win double your money. So I always buy these ones right here. And um, of course you can win up to 20 times um, and there's 20 chances on here to win. So a quick and easy way though, as you see, I didn't even scratch the whole ticket off. So a quick and easy way that you can see if you want without even having to go through scratching all 20, then you got to scratch one, two, three, four, five X's at the top to reveal the winning numbers. If you just scratch down the bottom, at the bottom of the ticket, okay, where you see that letter B and that letter D, and give y'all some good info, because I bet you a lot of people don't know this. My mother taught me this. That B and that D, it really doesn't spell a dollar amount. So that means that it's not a winner. So, um, so like I said, you can just move on. Once you see that B and that D, also, if you scratch that barcode off right there, you can scan the ticket like at a store at one of the machines and it'll tell you also if it's a winner or not. Um, I have the app on my iPad and so I still scan the app, the barcode to make sure that ain't nothing was wrong. Cause you know, sometimes they may say that it's not a winner, but it may be a winner. So I still scan it anyway. But like I said, that B and that D does not spell a dollar amount. So therefore, this ticket right here that we're looking at now is not a winner. But I have more tickets here. So $10 a piece, a piece I spent. So like I said, I got more tickets here, as you can see. All right, so let's get it. I ain't want y'all to think that I'm putting the same ticket up there. Of course. So now, once again, you can see down at the bottom, there's a letter P. And there's usually like two to three letters. Um, yeah, it's like two to three letters. When you when you only see two letters, um, usually it's not a winner. And then usually, like I said, when you see um two letters, it's not a winner. And um, the P, of course, a P is not going to spell a dollar amount. Um, you know, like $10, $20, $50. You know, P is not going to spell a dollar amount. So, therefore, like I said, this one is not a winner. Um, so, let's move on to the next ticket here. Um, Alright. Now, once again, if you look down the bottom... I went ahead and I, I just scratched them all off this time, just doing something different. But um, there's a D and there's a letter B. And just like I said, when I come back to that one right there, there's a D and a B. These two tickets, like I said, they're not winners. All right. So how many more I got? Man, I spent like $60 in there tonight. So, looking at that one right there, you see down the bottom, you see a D and a P. This one has a D and a B. That one has a D and a P. D doesn't spell a dollar amount. Um, P doesn't spell, you know, a dollar amount. So, therefore, this one is not a winner. So, let's move on to this one. 
And like I said, this one here has a D on it. I didn't scratch the whole thing, but it should be another letter on there. It's probably going to be a B because it's not a winner. Of course, like I said, D doesn't spell a dollar amount. Um, so, like I said, um, this one is not a winner. Like I said, and, you know, just to be 100% sure, like I said, you can scan it or you can just look at, do like I do. Like I look at the first, um, the first of the winning numbers which are the five numbers at the top. And the first one is number 48. And then I just go down the first row and I see that we got 58, 23, 8, 49, 40, 37, and 11. Then 19, 6, 31, 44, 54, 42, 45, 21, 43, 33, 57, and 2. Going over to the next winning number, with number 9. Of course, I just went through all of them, and I don't see that I have a number 9. Uh, and I go to 39, and I don't see a 39 in either row. Um, number 55. I don't see a number 55 in either row. And then the last winning number is 18. And I don't see an 18 in either row. Came close though. 19. Um, if I would have, if I would have, um, if I would have had the 19, I'd scratch it off a little bit more and see what 19 revealed. <laughs> Only a hundred bucks. Nineteen only reveals a hundred dollars. Um, I was hoping that. Let's see, where is that ticket at? Oh yeah, it's this one. Yep, but um, nineteen was only. Where is it? Mix it up. I got so many of them. There it is. Nineteen was only. Oh, and I was nineteen too. But anyway. I probably mixed it up. But anyway, 19 was only a hundred dollars. Um it was only a hundred dollars for number nineteen. Um let's see. Let's scratch these uh, I got I got I got some money though. I got some money. I got more tickets to show y'all. I just wanted to kinda show y'all something else real quick. So I scratched off all the dollar amounts. And as you can see, number 28, if I would have had a number 28, I would have been a millionaire. One million dollars if I would have had number 28. Even if I would have had number 45, I would have been a millionaire. Um, One million dollars. Came close to being a millionaire tonight. So, let's go to this one right here. So, this one's a little different. I would have loved to have gotten that number 11 because I would have been a millionaire. I would have had a million dollars. I'm going to get that million dollars. Uh, number 29, a million dollars. So, as you can see here, this one right here has the letter F, letter Y, and the letter T. So, um, that, that does spell a dollar amount. You know, T could span for ten million, um, but the um, F T Y stands for fifty. And if you look at the two and the X, right above the eleven, that's ten dollars. But it's two times, so that's twenty dollars that I won. And then if you look at the number nine, that's thirty dollars and I have a number nine at the top for the winning numbers so I won thirty dollars and I won ten dollars twice which is fifty dollars so that's the reason that FTY is abbreviated for fifty so that's another quick way that I know when I hit money when I won um, just by looking at the bottom down there so, um, this right here is 
me taking y'all to school on how to do things when it comes to these scratchers. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I actually made my money back and then I went and bought another one. So I actually didn't make, I spent 60, I made 50. So I basically, I basically spent $10. So I'm not mad at that because before I bought the, I went in the store originally, I bought one. And I didn't get anything. So I went and bought four more. So when I bought the four more, plus the one I bought, the, the first one I bought, that was 50. And I wound up hitting my $50. So I got all my money back. And I bought a one more, and I didn't get anything off of that one. So basically, like I said, I spent $10. Like I said, <clears throat> I'm not mad at that. I, I can spend $10 on something all the time, so that's nothing. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, though. I appreciate y'all watching. We're going to be getting back to my cars and all the good high-performance motor stuff and all of that. We're going to be getting back to that tomorrow. Thanks for watching, though.